Hello everyone, we are going to have a look at your reading and see what is coming through. I hope you are doing well. If not, I hope I can help you. This reading is for all star signs, so if you are here, hello and welcome. Um, I feel like it's a sign in itself and I just wanted to mention as well that if you wanted to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. Personal services, personal readings, intention items, um, which you know thousands of people have seen results with, are on my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com. There's personal tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas, of your life, black magic energy removal, uh, there's protection rituals, there's so many amazing things on there which are really special and there's the bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, charms, candles, teas, sage bundles, all handmade, very very special. These are the kinds of items you won't find anywhere else because they are all handmade and they're very special. <laughs> okay, so everything's listed down below in the description box below where all of my verified information is. So if you are ever encountering a scammer or someone like that, come to my YouTube channel, click on the description box, just verify the information, okay? All right, so. Do, 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 do. Let's see, this is for all star signs, okay? Um, we're gonna see what's happening, what's coming through, the lovers is coming through. Hmm, okay. See, there's, there's one person that's more mature, there's one person that's more immature from what I'm picking up on. I feel like you're the more mature person from what I'm seeing. Whoa, they are like lying out. Ooh, ten of wands. Uh huh. One second, let me just put these all down on the table. Okay, I feel like I needed the full picture first because what I'm seeing here is that you have had a huge impact on somebody around you. You are very mature and this person is quite immature. They have had less life experience than you, which means they've had less life, well, not, you know, less lives, as in less past lives. Um, than you, which makes you an old soul, okay, because you've had more past lives. Sorry, my blinds are actually moving because it's really windy outside. Let me just shut my window so my blinds aren't going crazy. They're doing like a blind dance. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, as I almost fall over a box. Anyways, <laughs> so what I'm specifically seeing here is that you are an old soul. You've had more past lives. You've had more past life incarnations. You are much more mature. This person is much more immature, okay? They've had less past lives. They have a tendency of not always knowing what the right thing is to do. They find it very difficult to know what to do, how to do it, when to do it, what, you know, like they just, they struggle a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And the main thing that I will say is that they have a lot of ego, okay? Or have had actually a lot of ego. I think you've beat this person at their own game personally because the seven of swords here shows that they just felt like they could take you in circles you know for some of you they might still be taking you around in circles whether this person is someone you are in contact with or you're not in contact with they have had and have a lot of ego okay and this ego is actually to protect themselves to be honest you know everybody has an ego um but when we talk about ego, we talk about people, you know, for example, who have like an excess amount, you know, but everybody does have an ego to protect themselves. Um, it's, you know, ego is a healthy thing to have. But when we stereotypically talk about ego, we're talking about people that have it in excess, right? So I just wanted to clarify that as well. So they have a lot of ego. And this ego is in so much excess that they have actually caused you pain. You know, they've been taking you around in circles, making you feel like something's going to happen. You get really attached to this person. You feel really connected to them. And then boom, they just kind of like go off, do whatever they want. You know, the half the time they're not communicating with you. They become hot and cold. They leave you wondering and waiting and just confused, you know, it's like crickets. It's like the hermit, everything just goes quiet. You're unsure as to where you stand. You're not really sure what they're thinking, what they're doing, how they're feeling. It just becomes this mess, right? Crazy, 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 crazy mess. And it's not fun. It's not fun to deal with things like this. And what I will say is that you've actually beat them at their own game. 
Because I feel like you are fed up. You are fed up of being treated like this. You don't like being treated like this. You know your worth and your value. You know that you're an amazing person, but that you're also sensitive and you have empathy and you're kind and you're caring. And that's why it hurts, you know? And you're just fed up. You're thinking like, how dare they treat someone like me who's so kind and so caring like this? Now that's not necessarily ego and pride on your way. That's spirit, you know? That's that's your... um. That's your soul, that's your character, that's who you are. You you know that you are valuable and um, there's a difference, you know, you are much more mature. So with that being said, judgment, you know, the more you kind of like pull back that energy towards yourself, take care of yourself, um, you're just, you know, you're not bothered about what they're doing in their day-to-day life every single day, the more they start to miss you. They miss you because you're pulling back that energy towards yourself and you're not giving them access to that energy to such a degree as you once were. That makes them feel spiritually like you're moving away from them. That triggers them to come towards you. It triggers them to say something. It triggers them to do something. It triggers them to be present towards you. And that triggers them big time. Big time, I'm telling you, (laughs) okay? The main, main, main thing that I really want to say is that they do like you. They do care about you. They do feel like you are amazing and you're kind and you're caring and you're very genuine. Um, But also, you know, they've always been so scared within themselves. So scared. Um, Just, you know, thinking like, oh, you know, the thing is they've had access to you. And when you have access to something, you can take it for granted. And because they are immature, they're a young soul, they've taken you for granted. I personally feel the minute they lose access to you, okay, and you, let's say you spiritually couldn't care less and you're just kind of doing your own thing that's when they are triggered, okay, that's when they're triggered to feel like, oh my god, I've lost access to that, but I really liked it, okay, it's a little bit like having Wi-Fi, okay, (laughs) it's just an analogy, having Wi-Fi, and you always have it, and it's always amazing, but one day, when you're trying to do your work, or you're trying to watch something online, for example, and you don't have it, it aggravates you, or it could just frustrate you, you know, because you've always had it and you've never had any problems and then all of a sudden it's gone and you're like wait a second like I realize just how (laughs) valuable it is or you know like a person for example like when you have a person in your life constantly talking to you and doing things towards you and then suddenly they disappear and you're just like oh my god you know it causes pain it causes sadness can cause grief um trauma you know it's awful so essentially that's what happens for them is that they lose you in their life spiritually okay spiritual energies are very powerful as well and they can't deal with it. They get triggered, okay? Triggered big time. They finally realize what you were giving to them. They finally realize the level of communication you were willing to do. They finally realize that you're not like all those other people around them. Mm -mm. They finally realize your worth and your value. They finally realize your confidence and your ability to be a really good person. They finally realize that you are so genuine and so understanding and so incredibly inspiring. Okay, you've always wanted this person to be their best self. You've always wanted them to be happy. You've never ever been um, the kind of person to cause them grief and trauma. Um, You know, in that sense, you've always been so supportive. And mark my words, okay, people around them are not like that to them. No, they might have one supportive person here and there, but not consistently like you have been. And that really allows you to beat them at their own game. You don't have to play a game, okay? But they were being very strategic about things, okay? When they felt overwhelmed, they would run away. When they felt lonely and and sad and things, they would come to you. That was the nature of what was happening. You beat them at the nature of what was happening and what they were doing. Okay, that's that's what I'm trying to say here. And um, in the process, you actually allow their ego to go down. So the more you focus your energy towards yourself, the more they feel a loss of your energies. That then allows them to trigger, well, to be, feel triggered spiritually to then come towards you, which then basically brings their ego down. Okay, um, and it's it's then triggering them to come towards you where they're not fearing. Okay, what they were fearing before, they're now fearing losing you. There's a difference. The fear changes. The fear changes in the grand scheme of things. They fear losing this incredible person who is attractive in so many ways, not just physically, you know, yes, you are physically attractive, but in so many ways, just with support and love and kindness and care and just the good person that you are. That's what they fear losing. Okay. So your affirmation for this reading is I beat them at their own game. Take care of yourself. I'm not saying you need to play a game. All you literally need to do is take care of yourself, put yourself first and shift more energy towards yourself. And you will literally 
beat them at their own game. That's it. That's it. But that's, that's a human thing to do. I'm not telling you to play a game. I'm literally telling you to take care of yourself. And yes, that is enough. Don't ever think that you need to stop thinking about them, okay? That's a mistake. Now, if you think to yourself, okay, well, Midnight, I'll just forget about them. I'll just stop thinking about them. Trust me, you will think about them 10 times more. What you need to do is literally put yourself first, okay? And put energy towards yourself. When you think about them, it's okay. That is totally okay. What you don't want to do is think to yourself, I need to stop thinking about them. Otherwise, you're going to go in a spiral where you're just going to think about them more. When you get thoughts about them, it's okay. Accept them. It's fine. You know, that is better. And then in time, you know, you'll feel so much more um, relaxed within yourself. So this is your reading. Now, if this reading resonates, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, um, intention items. I have TikTok and Instagram as well if you want to follow me on there. All the official links are always only in the description box of my video and pinned in the comment section by my account, okay? Um, do not have WhatsApp, okay? I do not have WhatsApp. I don't know how many times I need to stress that out, um, especially with like scammers lurking around and stuff. I do not have it. I live in the UK, okay? That's 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 what you need to know, <laughs> okay? So this is your reading. Um, take care, everyone, and I will see you all very soon, all right? And um, yeah, I think that's all I needed to mention. Okay, bye.